Hey everyone, this is Jerry. I'm an editor here at TapTap. Tap, and in today's video, we want to introduce you to our new series, TapTap Tap Explored. It is a video about hidden gems that we found on TapTap. Tap. Our editors handpicked seven new amazing games on TapTap Tap that we think are definitely worth trying out. These are some unique, fun to play, and interesting games that are nothing like those big AAA commercial titles that many of us are already tired of. Okay, that's enough of the intro. Let's get into it. Cat Museum. Cat Museum is a 2D adventure game that's narrative and puzzle based in nature where you explore the titular oddball museum with an iridescent cat in tow. Right off the bat, there are grotesque manifestations featuring insects and human body parts that pulse and twitch as if they were still alive. But hey, the cats are cute, so enjoy this sharp contrast while you can, because unsettling the player most certainly seems to be the bread and butter of this indie game. Ultimately though, Cat Museum isn't a game for everyone, but it is certainly a god-tier game for the players who appreciate both weird peculiarities and felines. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then definitely give it a whirl. Nova Island. There are so many card games out there, and so many of them are quite similar. But Nova Island stands out from the pack as it is one of those truly great card games that brings a unique playing field and a striking new perspective to the genre. Charged with action, Nova Island primarily features one-on-one -on -one combat on a grid-based field where your characters power up to earn Nova stars. It's really as simple as that. Those that fell in love with Hearthstone many moons ago should fall in love with Nova Island too, as both games share a randomized experience that forces players to make various difficult choices throughout any given match. Love is in small things. When compared with the other titles in this genre, Love is in Small Things is more of a beautiful visual novel with great music rather than an actual game. This experience is essentially a hidden object game where players find items such as letters, numbers, or hearts. Each time an object is found, a piece of the illustration comes to life with vibrant color. Long story short, even on the best days, there aren't many opportunities to slow down and appreciate the small things. This is the main selling point of the self-described, stress-free, emotional healing art game that is, love is in small things. Dungeons of Dreadrock. Here we have what is in every way a by-the-books fantasy RPG epic, except in its gameplay, which is more of an action puzzler where everything happens in a natural, reactive manner. Dungeons of Dreadrock puts players into the role of a young girl who has accompanied her brother into a creepy, imposing cave. Once you enter the cave to save your brother, you quickly discover just how dangerous this journey is. The dungeons are filled with smart puzzles to solve, and one of the game's greatest strengths is that it is absolutely filled to the brim with clever, inventive ways of twisting the RPG formula. This is one of the smartest and most surprising games we've tried this year. That it's playable to completion for free, with ads between floors though, is frankly astounding. We don't often give 5 out of 5 ratings on TapTap, Tap, so just trust us on this one and give it a try. Life in Adventure Text-based games and visual novels still exist these days, sure, but it seems rather difficult to find one that is worth playing, one that rises above the myriad other digital distractions set before us in today's world. Life in Adventure is a game that does rise above and yearn to be noticed. The gameplay itself is quite amusing. You move from scenario to scenario where you will have a few options of what you can do, and most of what you choose will give you some experience points that will fill up a bar at the top of the screen. Once that bar fills up, you get that chapter's ending, which plays out according to the decisions you have made along the way and your alignment. The solid atmosphere, appropriate writing, and engrossing game mechanics found in Life and Adventure all add up to a nice digital complement to the text-based choose-your-own-adventure genre. So if you're one who enjoys a little reading mixed in with your gaming, then this title will be right up your alley. Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion This is a game where a juvenile turn up deals with an old head shakedown artist, fights battles in a top-down Zelda-esque manner, and tears up bills and letters during occasional fits of rage. In terms of gameplay, it is a simple action-adventure RPG based on the elegant The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past gameplay mechanics. But in terms of content, the title deliberately goes somewhat overboard as you find yourself caught up in some odd situations dealing with some truly absurd characters. Give Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion a whirl if the aforementioned Zelda titles are your bag, 
as it is essentially a wryly comedic take on the Zelda franchise. Cookies Must Die Indie game studio Rebel Twins, which has graced us in the past with cool titles such as Aliens Drive Me Crazy and Daddy Was a Thief, have now cooked up another tasty morsel for us with the award-winning Cookies Must Die. The action controls found here are essentially slingshot based. That is to say, you're slinging your character from one spot to the next, disarming cookies, juice pops, and other snackage you encounter along the way. What's also unique about the control screen is that you can freeze your character in midair and sling them in a completely different direction. Cookies Must Die breaks the mold with its unique control scheme, slow motion tactics, and incredible cinematics. It is truly a tasty treat worth every bite. Alrighty then, those were the seven hidden gems we found on TapTap for you this week. You can download all these games on TapTap through the links provided in the description. Let us know in the comments if you've already played any of them, and please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons.